he descended into hell and it made the creed. None of the walking on water, healing the leopards, casting out the demons, none of those made the creed, even though they are all over the scriptures and very clear. He descended into hell, and that's in like two Bible verses and only one actually clearly in 1 Peter 3, uh, 19. Uh, for Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison. After Jesus died on the cross, somewhere around Easter Vigil on Saturday, he descended into hell to proclaim to the spirits in prison. And the reason that makes the creed, but none of the others do, is that that is for you. Jesus descended into hell for you. He kicked open the doors and he broke the locks. Now it doesn't lock right anymore. Hell can't trap you anymore. Jesus descended into hell to proclaim to the devil and all who would dwell down in that fiery pit, you lost, even if you think you won. You can't have any of them. Not anymore. Jesus descended into hell as a way to rob hell of its sting to you, to me, to everyone. Hell is only a thing that we fear when we are not near Jesus. Because the only way to get to hell is to crawl past the dead body of Jesus who atoned for all of your sins and keep going and bolt yourself in there. The doors to hell only lock from the inside now. Jesus forgives all of your sins, so your sins cannot condemn you. The devil cannot accuse you of anything, because when he comes to you and he says, look at all these things you've done, you say, Jesus did those. That's also why he died for them. He bore my sin on the cross, and it is finished. Leave me alone. The only way to get to hell is to run away from Jesus, to run away from the forgiveness, and try and carry those things yourself. That's heavy. Don't do it. Flee from this. But he descended into hell for you. So that when we think about hell, we can think about hell as the thing that Jesus conquered too and take shelter under the cross. When we think about condemnation, we can recognize that God actually hates that fact too. He didn't make hell for people. Matthew says that hell was created for the devil and his angels. It's an atrocity that anybody, anybody would be there. The only way to get there is to crawl over the dead body of Jesus where your sins were punished, forgiven, atoned for completely. And then say, that's not enough. The reason that we confess he descended into hell is because it's part of the victory. Here, even things like the grave, even things like hell come undone. Because Christ has descended there. And if God is there, that means there's hope down there. There's hope. So to the spirits in prison, they were confronted with hope and they wailed out against it. To those who would be afraid to be trapped down in there, they are confronted with a God who says, no, no. Even if you think that you descend, I will meet you on the way with hope and I will pull you back out. We look to Jesus for our salvation and looking to him, we can always find this help, hope, forgiveness, and life. He descended into hell so that you would have all of them. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.